Okay, conjugates of complex numbers. Okay, and a conjugate, um, let me let me invent a complex number real quick. Um, okay, there's a complex number. There's the real part is three. Um, the imaginary part is five i, and we could graph this. It would look just like three comma five on the on the uh, x on the Cartesian real plane. Um, so it's conjugate. Okay, conjugate is is I'm going to multiply this by something. Okay, and there's there will not be any more complex numbers after that. Okay, so it turns out it's usually just the opposite. Okay. Uh, and it's, well, it's not really not the opposite, but if I just switch the sign, let's let's check out what happens. What did I do? The FOIL method, I get a nine, and then I get what do I get? A negative fifteen i. Okay, now I do my middle term. I get a positive fifteen i. Then I get a what? A negative twenty five. But they both have i's, so it's i squared. Okay. A little simplification here. We get a nine minus 25 and i squared is equal to negative 1, right? Okay, remember uh, that i is equal to square root of negative 1. So if I square both sides, okay, I square both sides, the radical cancels out and there I'm left with the uh, the imaginary unit. Okay, so what's, what, what's a negative times a negative? It's a positive, right? So that is equal to what, 34. Okay, so I took I took a complex number. Uh, I found just by switching the sign in the middle, and that's usually all you have to do. I found out. Um, well, I, I basically found another complex number that I could multiply it to and turn it into a real number. Okay, let's try it again. Only, well, let's just do this one. 4i. If I take 4i and I multiply it by negative 4i. Let's see what happens. What do we get? We get negative 16i squared, which is equal to negative 16, negative 1, which is equal to 16. Bada bing, bada bing. Bada bing, bada boom. So, um, so conjugates really aren't that bad. Um, conjugates are pretty easy. The, re the reason I did this video on them is because we will you, you'll use conjugates to solve algebraic problems. Just like you probably use conjugates and like using radicals and uh, stuff like that. So, um, next, and, and we're, we're going to use it in division next. So, next, we're going to do some division.